Hello, and thank you for having me take part, virtually, in this symposium. I'm sorry I can't join you in person, because the topics you're covering today are critical to the future of our country. When I first took leadership of the House Science Committee as ranking member in 2019, developing legislation to strengthen America's science and technology was my highest priority. I was lucky that Chairwoman Johnson shared my goals, and we worked together to produce smart policies to reinvest in America's research enterprise. I'm proud to say that much of that legislation was included in the CHIPS and Science Act, which was recently signed into law. When that bill passed, coverage around it centered on support for the semiconductor industry. And while it's important to build out our domestic CHIPS production, I think the second half of the bill, the section focused on research and development, is what will have the most impact on the long run. The CHIPS provision will build factories now but the research provisions will build decades of scientific innovations and economic growth. That's because we set a strategic direction for our scientific enterprise, doubled our investments in basic research, expanded our STEM workforce, and strengthened our ability to protect our research from foreign theft. This bill is a reinvestment in the transformational basic research that has given and driven American growth for the last generation. This reinvestment prioritizes industries of the future, like quantum sciences, artificial intelligence, and advanced manufacturing. These will be the technologies that will drive economic progress and protect our national security. Additionally, we made sure to improve tech transfer in this bill so that groundbreaking research gets out of the lab and into the economy. Finally, we invested in stronger guardrails to protect our research from being stolen by our adversaries. I'm proud of this legislation and I'm proud of the bipartisan work we did on the Science Committee to develop it. I had a great partner in Chairwoman Johnson and I appreciate all that she did to get this bill across the finish line. What's next? We'll be following along closely to see how appropriators fund these policies and how the administration begins implementing them. I'm looking forward to seeing the next generation of American research take off. Before I close out my remarks, I want to take a moment to thank all of you who work to keep this country at the forefront of science and technology. We know China may already be investing more than us in R&D, but they're taking a top-down industrial policy approach. I believe what makes America so innovative is the unique structure of our research enterprise, which fosters collaboration between government, industry, academics, and other experts. Thank you for contributing to the structure and for all your work to drive science and technology progress.